This is ugly. I think I'm gonna have to pry this up towards straight before I can do anything. This is it's gonna be what's known as a son of a bitch. The first time I tried to drag a log to the mill with my new skidding cone, it got ahead of the ATV and the cable wrapped around the axle. That bent the bracket that holds the brake. I tried to straighten the bracket in place enough that I could get the caliper off, but that didn't work. I found it easier to remove the bracket and the caliper as a unit. Okay. He had made a mess out of the pad and the rotor. I believe it's time to don the glasses so I can see what I'm doing. I had to remove the hub to remove the rotor in hopes I could straighten it. I expected a fight. This is a little bit bent. But here, that's not just a little bit. I do not know if this is straightenable. I will try it. And if it is, good. I still had to get the caliper off the mounting bracket. There. Good force wins the day. Okay. So this is what's bent. Need a new one of those. And that looks like a five or a four. It's a five. Okay, what can I do with it now? Oh, sure as hell can't turn that. So, I think I'll hit them with PB Blaster. Come back tomorrow. This is the bracket that holds the rear brake caliper in the ATV. It's a little bit bent here. It's greatly bent here. This needs to be at right angles to this. I think it might be easier to straighten with a pin in there because then it'd be easier to measure when it's gone far enough. I think I'm going to need heat. And a pretty big hammer. I wish I knew if that was truly bent. It is. It looks bent, but it's also an S bend. It looks like it's perpendicular where it counts at the bolt holes. I might leave that one the way it is and see what happens. But this, I think if I put it there and hammer here, I think it's going to need heat.
to buy this bracket, Yamaha requires you to buy the entire rear brake assembly for $307. All I need is this piece of steel. I don't need $300 worth of parts. I'll try it not red. I believe we're making progress here. It's getting there, but it's also going this way. So I needed more this way. After more heating, hammering, measuring, I put it outside to cool. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, which side did this damn thing go on? It's hammering this way, so this was down. All that hammering had distorted the hole and the pin wouldn't quite fit. question is, are we square? Pretty close that way. Not so close this way. Needs to come in a little bit. One possibility is a shim. Sell some scraps of metal around on the floor. I don't sweep the basement floor every day, and I remembered seeing the glint of shiny bits of metal on the floor from a previous project. Now, still not quite. What happens if we? I tend to this just a little. One of the most noticeable effects of old age, I've discovered, is dropping things. Okay, that's just about got it. Good there. Pretty good here. We don't know what we're measuring from exactly. And the other way up there. Not quite. If I bring this around just a little bit. Of course I have to find the wrench I just set down. Here it is. Right about there. Okay. Good that way. And good this way. This part is repaired, I think. 
So I found a correctly threaded bolt, cut the head off, rounded over the top, and uh, good, it won't come through this way. So what I can do is put this in here, because I got a new one of these on order. Oh yeah. Needs only a little encouragement. That temporary pen worked so well, I could have kept it in there and saved $18 for the new one. Okay, that's writing properly. And I have a simulated brake rotor, which is probably way too thick. Nope. Just right. Simulated brake rotor so I can step on the brake and the caliper will squeeze on something so I can shift gears. It will work well enough until brake parts arrive. So, put the wheel back on and then go up and get another log. I meant to duct tape that piece of wood in the brake. I forgot, but that's all right. Don't think it's going anywhere. If it does, put it in another one. Most of the braking in that 20-year-old ATV is by engine compression. I did not realize how much I rely on the rear wheel brakes until I went up the hill to get another log. <laughs> 